welcome back to my channel my name is Nicole and if you've never been here before then welcome today I'm doing a video for you guys where I am cooking a Filipino dish that I grew up eating it's been a long time since I've had this and it's called tortang talong if you've never heard of it it's basically a Chinese eggplant with egg and uh, it's basically like an eggplant egg pancake <laughs> But it's so good, you eat it with rice, and it's something that I grew up eating. It's super simple and easy to make, super cheap, and it is delicious. I have the eggplanties here, and then I also have my egg. I think I'm going to use one egg, um, but I might need two, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, because this is honestly the first time that I'm going to be making this. Uh, I've just eaten it, and my grandma used to make it for me. But here I am, giving it a try. Uh, and there are different types of torta that you can make as well. There's ones with pork, you can put you know, meat in it, but typically you put pork in it, and um, those ones are really good too. But I wanted to opt for the eggplant version because the eggplant version was honestly my favorite growing up. I'm gonna turn that on silent. Stop it. Get some help. I'm just heating up the pan here. You take the eggplant and you're supposed to grill it. So I'm gonna grill it so that we can uh, cook the inside and then take the skin off. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, today I am going to teach you how to cook the torta talong, okay? We're going to cook it, we're going to mash it, and then we're going to, to eat it, okay? Okay, so all you want to do is grill the eggplant on a pan until the skin starts to fall off and the inside feels all mushy. My grandma used to make this for me and it used to be my fave and she would make like a dozen of them and I would eat them just all day. Okay, so I think this is pretty much good to go. This one is good to go. We're just gonna let these cool down. I just took them off the pan but as you can see, they're nice and burnt. Okay, so while that cools down, I'm going to um, make my egg concoction now. So, all you need is salt. I have some Himalayan pink salt here, and then pepper. So I'm gonna be using two eggs in this recipe since I have two eggplants. And then you're gonna wanna mix your salt and your pepper into the mix as per your taste. And you're gonna whisk that away until you feel like it's a good consistency. Next, I'm gonna be making sinangag, which is a very popular Filipino rice dish that is basically rice sauteed with garlic. And it's a huge staple in any Filipino family because we love garlic. Sinangag is honestly my favorite way, or one of my favorite ways to eat rice. It just also reminds me of my childhood. You know, I would wake up in the morning sometimes and my mom or grandma would be making um, breakfast uh, and that would include sinangag all the time. Garlic fried rice, people, it's so delicious. It smells so good. It's good if it's a little bit burnt the uh, garlic because you know everyone loves a little little burnt pieces and I have my rice ready here my rice is all cooled down now cooked it a little bit earlier there we go and it's ready It smells so good. <sighs> okay. So once the eggplant has cooled down, you're gonna want to peel the skin off and flatten it with a fork. Okay, so I'm gonna dip these into the egg first. So yeah, I'm just gonna dip it like that. And then I'm gonna plop this into the pan. Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just like so. And you're gonna do the same thing. And 
Perfect. So those are now in there. So now you just want to use the rest of the egg and um, place some of it on top. Okay, everything is pretty much done, guys. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna spatula it onto the plate here. And voila, you have your tortang talong with sinangag fried rice. Yummy! So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. I'm starving. Here we go. The, the test. Mmm, takes me back. <sighs> Anyways guys, that is pretty much the end of the video today. I want to know what your guys' favorite childhood meals are. So if you had a favorite childhood meal that takes you back and you still eat it to this day, Hit me up in the comments below and let me know what those dishes are and maybe I'll try them and you guys should definitely try this out if you never have before. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I do post videos on a weekly basis. Follow me on Instagram which is at Nicole V with two E's at the end and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!